So I'm getting ready to run through Neverwinter's Mod 20 Sharndar new campaign. If you didn't see my other video about this or don't know, you can start the campaign and pick it up down here in Protector's Enclave. I'm all the way over here. Now I've run through this with two other characters, and as you probably know, or at least if you've been to this channel you know, I don't run with all the best-in-slot items on any of my characters. I like to just enjoy the game when I can. And I don't have to kill myself getting Astro Diamonds or Zen to buy all the best stuff. Now this character has the highest item level of the three. Before I get started, I'll show you the other two. In case you were thinking about running this and haven't, because you thought maybe your item level wasn't high enough, there is a grace period I'd like to remind you about. For the next two weeks, as uh, Mod 20 kicks off here, if you make it through, you can stay in, so you'll still have access to it even if you're under 40,000 item level. Like, I ran this guy, my Barbarian. He's only at item level, of basically at 34,500 or 600. If you're liking this so far, make sure you hit that like button. Thanks. And I had to drink some potions to get it in, but, I mean, you can see my primary artifact is a Mythic Soul Sight Crystal, kind of an old one. I have a few legendary artifacts down here on the belt. Now they did scale this back. It was pretty hard. Some players were saying on the preview server. I didn't run through this all the way through at least on the preview server. I just checked it out real quick but didn't get into it a whole lot just because I don't like to waste a lot of time there since none of it transfers over to the live server. And if you're new to this channel I also have lots of other great Neverwinter videos where I give you lots of tips that can help you out during your adventure. In fact, I'll drop a link to that playlist down below in the description so you can watch that after you're done watching the, this video. Ran with a chicken. I picked up, I didn't have one to just a couple days ago, and at least on the PC. As of a couple days ago, yeah, they're, they're still not very much, so it's a fairly inexpensive companion, epic companion, if you don't have one. But uh, it was enough that I didn't have much problem running through with this one and mount wise if you want to see what i have there uh now i do have a mythic tyrannosaur but the rest of these i mean heck this is just rare here and then the three other epic mounts so nothing special at least in my opinion and i ran through with my wizard for my second companion and again he's a little higher his item level is at almost thirty-seven thousand. now i do have mythic artifacts but i'm running the same Orcus set here, but the entire set is the Orcus set on both my Barbarian and this one. And while these are mythic, I mean, these are older artifacts. So again, it's nothing special. And again, I ran with the chicken on this. Mount-wise, I'm in just a little better shape. I have a legendary, a mythic, and two epic mounts here in my stable. And I forgot to point out with the other character, I have some legendary insignias and some epic, but I have no mythic. And even the enchantments on this character, I mean, I'm running some rank 12s, rank 11s, a couple 13s, a 14 there. But again, I'm not maxed out. So if you were concerned about running this or whether to bother, maybe that clue you in, give you a little bit of an idea and let you know whether you'll survive. Okay, so now I'll pick up the quest. Start the storyline. So we're going off to investigate the Fey Crossing. Accept the quest. Open up the overhead map. I have VIP so I can do this. And there it is on the map. The Fey Crossing. Just go to the one of the gates if you don't know. You should know by now if you're playing this. We have a little bit of a storyline. A couple cutscenes to go through. And we're in. If you're just checking this out and you're new to Neverwinter, I just put up a video the other day, 12 tips for new players. So you might want to check that out. I'll put a link up at the end of this video so you can click on it, check it out. I also put a link to a playlist I have there for more great Neverwinter videos with lots of tips. And again, I have the chicken. <laughs> I said I didn't have the chicken on any of my companions. I just decided to go ahead and, since they were so cheap, I picked a few up just for fun. So basically, you come in, you battle a little bit. You have to work your way up through the path. Up that way. And 
as you can see, I'm not having a whole lot of difficulty. And like I said, currently this is my best equipped. I have more rank 14 and 15 enchantments on this one. My companions are in a little bit better shape. But I'm still not maxed out. I mean, my artifact sets are okay. They're not great, but they're sufficient. I mean, I'm running a staff of flowers, but again, I'm still using the Orca set on this guy. Give you a quick look at my companions here. I mean, I guess I didn't show you all the companions on the other characters. My Barbarian's pretty abysmal, but you can see I just have, I've got a couple legendaries here. Like my Bullet Pop is legendary, but I don't have any Mythics. Then I have a mixture of some greens and rares and epics. I don't know if you saw that, I have Zuna. Zuna was nerfed <laughs> pretty hard. Some people were upset about that, but that's just how it goes sometimes. We just have to live with those changes. I've been trying to point out to you new players especially that you know, if you want to play this game, just expect that changes happen fairly frequently and lately in big ways, uh, really especially since Mod 16. They've been pushing fairly substantial changes every couple of mods. So just expect that will happen and uh, maybe you won't be so frustrated by it. Maybe I'll throw in a little music here. And we keep working our way through. More of these festering hulks. They hit kind of hard, so. Try not to stand right in front of them like I was. And I'm running the, uh, I have a rank 14 bark shield enchantment on this guy. Just in case you were wondering. I really didn't talk about my stats. I guess I should have. I'll give you another quick look at that in a second. As you can see here, my main stat ratings, like the other parts of my character, are not maxed out. Plenty of room to grow. I'm doing okay. And I can take some pretty good hits and keep moving through. These paths are pretty narrow coming up through here didn't want to have the constant combat. If you had a rogue, you might be able to slip through here, or at least through some of it. Anything else? I guess if you really struggled and are a solo player, you could maybe wait some of these out and time it a little bit. But for the most part, I think you're kind of stuck having to fight your way up through here. Take these guys out, get them out of the way. So I don't get swarmed. Okay, I was kind of curious to see what would happen there. I didn't die with either of the other two characters. It's kind of nice to see that I didn't have respawns the whole way up through here to go back through. So that was that's good. So if you wondered about that, now you got a chance to see that too. Huh, it looks like it'll let me pass this battle too, which I didn't finish. Interesting. Oh, okay, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Very nice. It's always nice to have a chicken on your side. And you have a couple boss battles to get through as you work your way through this area.
these guys will follow you out and she doesn't pursue. I don't know what happens if you go too far and if she'll chase you out or not. So be aware of that. I didn't have much difficulty with her with the other two characters either. She didn't hit very hard. She wasn't very fast. She just kind of lumbers along there. Fights with the companion a little bit. In this case, my chicken. Take these toads out as you come up through here. They gave me a little bit of trouble with my wizard and my barbarian. Not too much, but a little bit. See if I can take off up through here. Nope, they'll pursue. I was curious. More than anything, I was curious I could show you what would happen. Those toads are fast. And we have one more group to defeat before we get to the big guy. He was a little tougher than the first boss, not too much though. And of course, like other quests in Neverwinter, I'm pr I didn't check this out to make sure, but I'm pretty sure if you don't survive and you exit out before you make it to New Sharndar, that you'll have to start from the beginning again. Pretty sure that's the case here. Might not be, but I'm pretty sure. And you have some new seals from a new seal vendor. And talk to Marissa. Complete the quest. Make sure you don't have stuff in your inventory and then complete the quest. That wasn't too bad after all. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.